ain't tryna make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't tryna grow them stuff for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't tryna link no time to waste. For the record. I was born in Puerto Rico. My dad was in the Navy. Um, you know, he served 20 plus years. It's hard, you know, being, being a military brat. Uh, obviously, you're constantly moving. You're constantly on the road, uh, on the go. And, you know, you're, you got to be able to adapt. You know, I, I think as a kid, you, you know, you might develop these relationships with your friends or whatever and classmates only to be, you know, have to move a year or two later. So that was kind of like, it was almost like those relationships, you knew they would not last long, so it was almost like you couldn't fully invest yourself in those. My dad was deployed twice, uh, so that was quite significant time. Um, I remember my mom, and she would take us. Uh, we, we actually would go live with our grandma during that time. Living with my grandma, you know, it was kind of hard. Uh, you know, she lived off a dirt road. We lived off the dirt road. We didn't have much. Um, in fact, I was kind of like sleeping on a pull-out couch. You know, it was kind of crowded in that that little double wide and, and whatnot. But that was my reality, you know, that, that was something I embraced. I first started playing football um, since I can remember. I would say the moment I realized that, you know, I could kind of make a career out of it was my my senior year where I was just playing and you know I was like dang I'm just like so blessed to kind of be in this position uh, at this time I had you know fielded multiple offers uh, you know from division one programs and you know I, I still haven't committed to a school yet I ended up committing to Clemson later um, but you know at that moment I was like you know I can make this a real possibility and uh, you know make this a future for myself and my family. When the NFL draft did come around, I wasn't really expected to get drafted. Uh, and I kind of told my family not to have this big ordeal, like, you know, kind of cook out because I didn't want to kind of be embarrassed. Uh, needless to say, we still ended up having people over. And uh, yeah, that one kind of hurt not to hear my name called, but it worked out. I'm turning dreams into reality In the lab with the formula and chemistry The memories spark and motivate And make the industry shake We put the balls in the place I'm talking one One chance at best, yes they, It's one all, one shot Now the future is yours, go! So what me stands for, it wasn't me. It's kind of um, kind of been my life mantra. 2015, I was with the Cardinals at the time. Um, ended up making a crucial third down catch. Um, after the game, you know, a reporter asked me, was like, hey, you know, how did you, you know, get open? Uh, what was, can you explain the route? And like, can you explain to me how you made this catch? And I'm like, you know, hey man, like, hey, it wasn't me. Like, it wasn't me at that time. And in a way, it was kind of like me, you know, not, taking credit for it and like in a way that kind of allowed me to remain humble but at the same time it's like that confidence that 
that quiet confidence. You know, everybody wants to kind of be in that spotlight. And I think what wasn't me is like, hey, you know, it's okay to kind of be in that background. You don't have to always get that spotlight and you don't care to get that spotlight, but at the same time, you're gonna bust your, bust your tail off. You know, you're gonna do what you gotta do and uh, you're gonna compete at the highest level. So I think um, it allows me to kind of just pay homage to the team behind the team. Tyler and I kind of came up with the idea. We thought it would be cool, you know, both having the military backgrounds to, you know, do something to bring kind of awareness to, like, military brats. And, you know, we thought, why not come up with a T-shirt design and, you know, some of the proceeds can go towards the family. And we you know partnered with an organization to find a family that's based out of here in Seattle. And, and what it was is each shirt that we sell, you know, a percentage goes towards that family. Uh, you know, I feel like in life we're we're often hit with adversity. It's how we respond to it. You hear that all the time, you know. Wow, maybe I'm not, like, good enough. Maybe I'm not good enough to, you know, make it out of Sheroa. Maybe I'm not good enough to make it to the college. And then, you know, boom, I get an offer. Boom, I get multiple offers. I end up going to Clemson, uh, first one in my family to go to a college, a major college. Um, and then it's like, hey, you're at Clemson. Like, you know, I have these doubters again, you you know, you're not as fast, you're not gonna get any play time up there in Clemson, you're, you're not as good, you're not a good wide receiver, hey, you're not really a wide receiver. Boom, I end up playing, you know, four, four years, uh, end up being a team captain. Then it's the questions again, hey, you're, you're gonna go undrafted, you're, you're not gonna make it. Yeah, I did go undrafted, but hey, I'm still here, you know, still working, still plugging along. So, you know, just kind of having that representation of one me on my chest every day, and uh, it's a constant reminder of that adversity I've been through, but at the same time, I'm striving for more. You know, I hope that, you know, my story can inspire you to, you know, want to continue to pursue that dream that you maybe thought that you weren't able to do. I want, I want to hear various stories across, like, the nation. I want to be able to like hear other people's wedding me stories and you know hear about their adversity and how they were able to you know overcome it but you know 24 we got the same 24 hours so hey go out there make some make a name for yourself you know you have a purpose in life and yeah go do it one me